Hey there, I'm Mykonos Fan, and I want to talk about these new Dragon Quest ports on the Switch. More accurately, these recent smartphone Dragon Quest ports that have been reported to the Switch. I think it's pretty safe to say the series is having a revival outside of Japan. Interest in the series in English-speaking countries is higher than ever thanks to a whirlwind combination of Heroes Inclusion in Smash Brothers, and with a very warm reception to the Dragon Quest XI demo on the Switch. I can't help but be reminded of when Yakuza 0 came out a few years ago and wound up bringing tons of new fans to that series, one that long deserved a larger audience than it had received to that point, much like Dragon Quest. Needless to say, it's probably the best time ever to be an existing fan, and it's a really great time to hop aboard the series and enjoy the ride for the first time. I find myself in the latter camp. Up until now, I had only ever played some of Dragon Quest Builders and Dragon Quest Heroes. I'd always been curious, but just never gave the main series a chance. With all of the current excitement and zeitgeist though, it's been incredibly difficult to not get caught up in everything. And to that end, Square Enix very smartly released the first three entries in the series on the Switch to coincide with the launch of Eleven. Over the last month, I've been having a great time. After I started that demo for Eleven, everything else in my life was put on hold as I became addicted. It really seems like a charming, wonderful world, and I didn't want my time with it to end. I was enraptured. A pretty similar thing happened this week when I purchased the first Dragon Quest to play it out of curiosity. For perspective, I'm also playing The Last of Us and Fire Emblem Three Houses between video work, and I practically forgot all about those as I lost myself in this classic game's simplistic charms. Within 24 hours of starting it, I was already at the Dragon Lord's throne room grinding levels so I can take him down and beat the game. I say all of this to establish that while I'm not a fan, I'm on the fast track to becoming one, and that I'm not making this video to be negative, or to whine, or to dissuade anyone from playing these re-releases. So before I go on, just please keep that in mind going forward. I'm having a blast. To further prove the point, I'm having so much of a blast that I actually already purchased Dragon Quest 2 before finishing the first game, because I'm just already on board that much. That said, we really need to talk about these versions. Again, up front, they're not miserable, unplayable, or broken in any way. I'd recommend them as a very accessible way for Switch owners to get into the series, because if someone with as bad as an attention span as me can get swept up in Dragon Quest 1, anyone can. But these re-releases really should be better. Like I mentioned earlier, Dragon Quest as a franchise has had the stars aligned for it to finally gain significantly more interest and a potentially much larger fan base than ever. All the pieces are in place, but these releases feel like fumbling the ball a bit on the starting line. Now, Eleven is really the standout star here, that's the way most who are interested are dipping in, and I'm confident that within 5 hours, they'll be hooked. But for others wanting to see where this hugely beloved franchise began, they're going to be met with a less than flattering experience. It begins with a few small things. Immediately after beginning the game, you see that the characters clash against the world they inhabit. The map is portrayed in one style, and the characters seem to be touched up, smoothed over sprites, and the clash is at once obvious. It just doesn't look overly appealing. Now, I have to repeat, these releases are based on the currently available smartphone releases. But looking back at those, the character sprites feel like they fit into the world. They don't feel at odds with their environments and feel more natural. It's a bit weird, but while playing the Switch release, I quickly got over it. Whatever, right? I got into a battle and saw that the pixelated monster sprites have been swapped out for these drawn portraits, however, and here's where I may say something a little controversial to existing fans, but I actually don't mind these. I'd prefer the pixel versions, but from afar, the DQ monster designs have always appealed to me, so I actually kind of like these portraits. That said, the option to switch between both styles here would be great. But these are honestly very minor nitpicks, I feel. They aren't really a problem to me. I just felt they were worth pointing out for you to know about. My real, major issue with this game is that when playing it on the TV, it disorients me and kind of makes me feel a bit uneasy to look at. If you're watching the smaller screen, it may be a bit hard to notice, but the larger a screen you're looking at this game in motion in, the easier it will be to notice. For some reason I can't discern, as you explore the game's world, it is constantly suffering from stuttering. Nothing about it scrolls smoothly, and it just feels bad to play. It doesn't make me feel good or even neutral, and I really can't fathom why this issue was here. Looking back at the smartphone release, it's actually something that affected that as well. It was just harder to notice because, again, the screen size is smaller. Sometimes you can kind of tune it out by focusing on the hero character in the immediate area around him, but against certain color tile sets, the impact of the disorientation increases. Just check out this castle from Dragon Quest 2. It's just difficult to take in, and it's honestly a shame. If you're subscribed to my channel, you know I cover the Sega Ages releases from M2, and I just can't help but compare this to the Fantasy Star release, which is another classic RPG. There's so many great little touches and helpful things included, 
that make the experience smoother and easier in the modern day. Now, this Dragon Quest release does have some nice things compared to the very original release, like some great in-game rebalances and an immensely generous autosave that helped me quite a few times. I actually really enjoy the updated soundtrack used in this release too, it really helped me engage with the game. But comparing these two releases side by side, DQ just pales a bit by comparison. Really though, my only main gripe stems from the fact that I really love playing games on my TV. The Switch is a portable device, sure, but I'm most comfortable playing on my television screen, and I live in a rural area so I don't really have the option to play games on my commute because I have to drive everywhere. But on my TV, the game just looks really janky and while I was able to stomach it eventually, I was never quite happy about it. And I can't imagine how someone with less tolerance would feel coming into this release. Even as someone who isn't an established fan of Dragon Quest, I just can't help but feel that these beloved, genre-defining games deserved more love and care than they got here. This is a legendary franchise with legendary games, and I can't help but imagine how these releases would be if a studio like M2 had been able to handle them. I'm not hopeful that these ports will get a patch, but I would really like to see them get one. At absolute worst, if and when 4, 5, and 6 arrive, I hope they don't have this issue. Again, it's not a deal breaker by any means. I'm not leveraging any of these complaints to hate on these games because, again, I'm already hooked and can't think of anything else except for finishing this video so I can get back to playing more. I'm very excited to experience more Dragon Quest and like I said, I would still point to these releases for anyone who just wants an easy way to hop in. I want to make sure it's crystal clear that I'm still really enjoying my time with these games. But put bluntly, a series like Dragon Quest deserves more than a janky, mismatched presentation like this. These ports are going to be a lot of people's introduction to the series, and I just think that these should have had more time put in to make the absolute best first impression possible. Anyway, I've got to get back to level grinding so I can move on to Dragon Quest 2 and then on to 3. Let me know down in the comments if you also found the screen stuttering bothersome if you play these releases. Until then, I'll catch you next time. And as always, a shout out to my patrons for making this video possible.